Trying to get live again. Yeah. Okay, I think we're back. Sorry about that, guys. No idea what happened. Um, my internet just disconnected for like three seconds. Uh, sorry about that. Hey, man with no screen name. Yes, I did work two halflings in the trench coat into the campaign. You're welcome. For a second there, I thought you said two tieflings in a trench coat, and I was like, first of all, Bliss would not be caught dead in a trench coat. <laughs> Would he be caught nude in a trench coat? Well, if you're wearing it, are you still nude? No, well, like, like streaking. Nude, nude besides the trench coat. I mean, the possibility of finding Bliss nude at all is relatively high in any general situation. So, I mean. <laughs> Noted. All right, guys, uh, no idea why the, the weird disconnect happened there, but it, it wasn't just the stream. Um, I think the last thing we heard was you saying that there were uh, no real complications. Oh, okay. Yes. Nobody showed up to swear vengeance upon your person at, at your presentation of your, of your valuable gold wrestler's belt. Except breath. Uh, except breath, you guys challenge each other, I guess. Um, okay, Bliss. Okay, so Bliss would like to do the downtime action of, um, work. And for him, for him, what, what work would be, would just be finding groups that, um, you know, taverns in the marketplace or uh, musicians who would be willing to like have him come dance for that w with them and um add to their performance and he would like at the at least once he would he would uh, he would invite all five of you to come watch one of his at least one of his performances um which was kind of what i wanted the rp thing to do because i there was something i wanted to do um if if every if all five of you came to a performance, it was something I wanted to do. Okay, um, are you all going to Bliss's performance? Sure. Absolutely. I guess I probably need to experience mm. this. <laughs> if everyone else is, then Vapos will go as well. <laughs> Akiri specifically drags him along. Got it. Okay, Bliss. Um, hang on. And Let's I would see. be doing this. I would be doing this all week as many times as I could just to get, earn see. some more money. Uh, all right. So they're playing this song in the tavern. And all your friends are there. Awesome. So do you need, can I, do you need me to describe it? Take or? it away. Okay. So um, Bliss would come out and he would be wearing that dancing outfit that was in the art. So you guys haven't seen him in that before. He's, he's, he's almost always wearing the leather armor and normal adventure clothes. So he's out, he, he comes out in this dancing outfit, he's got his tambourine. And um, he will, do you need me to roll, Max? Not yet. Okay. So um, he's, his dance, when he dances, it's very, um, lots of smooth, very graceful motions. Very, um, it's, I know by the look, because I, I know what you guys are thinking. I know by, like, by, I know by the outfit it looks, he's not doing pole dancing. It's more, almost more like belly dancing. It's very, very, um, very smooth, very um, rhythmic, 
very sensual, very just like this very graceful just motion and use and I'm, I'm I when I created Bliss, I was thinking mostly like Gypsy, like like Esmeralda from um, from uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, that kind of style. Mm -hmm. um, and that and he, that's that's basically the whole routine. It's just he doesn't really sing. Um, he just kind of he just dances and he um, seems okay. to just keep good good time with the music and just very smooth, very very um, very graceful motions. All right, make a perf uh, charisma perform dance check. Thank you. And I am using my my uh, modified outfit, so I will have advantage on you this. Will indeed. Ooh, okay, it's a dirty twenty. All right. Let's be honest. All of Bliss's twenties are dirty. Okay. Well, um, you guys, you get to see he is in fact a very skilled dancer, um, and has a different style from uh, the Gold Dragonborn dance. The Dragonborn, of course, in this world, being known for as the greatest dancers as great dancers and um and you've seen um your former party member um whose name is escapes me krim krimfenstall uh do a dragon dance but this is very different um this is this is a very different uh style of dance and bliss has his own his own thing that he does and it's quite impressive um it's quite impressive and it almost makes you uh like him more um almost like a special uh supernatural effect is involved um In, oh sorry so when you when you uh when you do this you can um, get a certain. You can. You can. You, you're spending the week doing this, right? Yeah, I've been. I'm throughout the week. I've been doing this um, as much as I can to okay. earn some more money. Um, so, do you want to? Do you want? What do you want? What do you would you like to accomplish? What do you want? What reward would you like to get? Because you actually have several options um, through this okay. performance. Are you trying to get earn as much money as possible? Are you trying to um, make a contact? Are you trying to um, elicit rumors? Um, are you trying to uh, kind of make a increase your reputation? At this time, I think Bliss is just looking to make some money. However, okay. during the performance where these five would be watching, I would like to ask if the five of you could make wisdom saving throws. What? what? And if you have, and if you have um, advantage on saving throws against being charmed, that applies here. So I guess I guess everyone makes yeah. a wisdom saving throw. That's interesting. <laughs> Okay, everyone who succeeded on the save, you don't realize that you were that I tried to charm you. Everyone who failed, this happens. What's the what's the DC? Sixteen. Ooh. Um. So, if you fail for one hour or until you take a depth, blah blah blah. Um, you basically, I, that's not really describing it very well. Basically, you guys just think I'm really cool. Like, I didn't realize this was a summarized version of the. You're of charmed. What it does. You're charmed by bliss, and you don't realize well, that he supernaturally charmed you. Well, I really like. Well, I, I don't have it up, so that's okay. I really like the way that it's specifically described, but basically, you guys just think I'm really cool for an hour. Um, <laughs> 
But during that time, after the performance, Bliss would like to go speak to you guys, especially Bella, because he's kind of intuited that Bella's kind of a de facto leader. Um, but all of you guys. Um, uh, so Bliss would like to come talk to y'all and um, and say, uh, and I'll start with Bella. Just say, um, oh, thank you all so much for coming. I'm really glad that you could see my show. I was really excited about having y'all over here. That was you- amazing. Yeah, normally I would honestly inherently hate this kind of thing, but yours in particular was phenomenal. Thank you. That means a lot. I'm really glad you guys liked it. So I I wanted to ask something, and this might seem like a weird request, but see, my group just just recently um, disbanded, uh, sort of. They got kind of absorbed by um, Miss Beaumont's uh, work here, and and I'm super happy for them. Your mother is an extremely talented and, and wonderful lady. Um, but I find myself without a group to um, do things with now. And I know we've been kind of getting to know each other a little bit more lately, but I was wondering if I could convince you all that once you move on from this place, if perhaps I could come with you. I'll fight anyone who says no. Well, I don't think that's necessary, um, but sure. Ah! Yeah, that'd be really cool. Like, Kiri isn't charmed, but she likes him anyways. Um, he kind of looks over to, because I was, that was Bella, that was Akiri and Brev. Does Mavra or Vapo say anything too? Vapos is just kind of staring at you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not, not in a, like he, like he's uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> it's just like I uh I apologize. I've I've never quite seen uh a dance quite like that one. <laughs> um <laughs> I if the if the group has no objection then I or then I suppose I suppose I don't either. <laughs> Don't, what? don't, don't worry, darling. I, I promise, I promise I will pull my own weight. Not that I weigh very much, but I, I, I will do my part to be useful. I, I, I on my honor. Um, and I would like also just, to, uh, he will also look Inside over at Inside check for bliss. <laughs> He's telling the truth. Did, <laughs> He's I, gonna do his- did I ask for anything else? <laughs> Uh, um, I I did want to know if Mavra insight had, check for bliss. Oh, for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were inciting me. Roll an insight check. <laughs> sorry. Fifteen. You immediately grasp that based on Vapos's reaction, he must have grown up in some ascetic shame-based culture um, that is, and he has literally never seen a man do that before. I see. Uh, uh, Bliss will just um, try not to make him too uncomfy um, and just say, um, well, I appreciate you stepping out of your comfort zone to come see my show. It it means a lot. And hopefully, I can put on some performances that will make you a little bit less uncomfortable. Um, well, I mean, if the rest of you are don't have any issues with it, I, I would love to travel with you. I've been wanting to get out and see a little bit more of the world and uh, go on some adventures. I think uh, you you gain the sense that the group has a somewhat um, uh, acceptance of your of your presence, Bliss. Yay! Um, also, you earn um, you you have been playing for tips. What is an elderberry? Yes. What the heck is that? 
Um, what the heck? Look? And he's so, a witch. Oh, I'm a witch. <laughs> hey, we have a visitor. Just for a few, so she can kind of. You're a witch. Mm -hmm. You're a witch. I'm a witch. I'm also a dungeon master. No, you're a witch. Oh no, I'm I'm a I'm just a witch. Okay. Hmm. I do witchy stuff. Um, so, uh, that was awesome. Um, you've been doing this for tips, Bliss, for about a week's worth of downtime, and you earn 20 pieces of silver. Awesome. Thank you. I want peas. Here in Westhead. I want peas. Um, okay. Now you said 20, 20 of silver, yeah? Yes, twenty pieces of silver. Got it. Thank you. Um Maver did say she approves. Okay, thank you. Uh okay guys. So you uh, there has been all of this flurry of activity. This was your downtime, but you were all assisting in um you got pulled in, whether you like it or not, you got pulled in to helping uh, Ariella Beaumont set up this underground court. Um, and that has eaten up quite a bit of your time. Um, but uh, around the end of that, uh, but finally things get sort of settled down. The, 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 the rebellion keeps having to move base around the city. Um, they are set up to do that. They're always just ahead of their pursuers. But they kind of get into a sort of a rhythm or balance. Um, the um, the importantly the bull um, the the order of the sacred bull um, the town guard are um, kind of on his side. Uh, on uh, they kind of tend toward um, Enderal. Um, however. Um, as you know, there is a certain contingent that is loyal to Rothdahl. And um, and they are still, they cause a lot, uh, they, they disrupt that loyalty and cause um, a, a perhaps the, some of the greatest dangers to uh, the consolidation of Enderal power. Um, so this complicated swirling political factions there are um battles there are uh skirmishes there are um attacks and flights um you do eventually get the news that um the western army of the duke um will be arriving um, sometime in the middle of the month of Mand. And that's going to be a whole new challenge for the burgeoning rebellion. Um, having left the tower that it was besieging to the northwest. That's the piece of news you get. You're welcome, woman who tried to imprison us forever. <laughs> um... Now, um, Eldan, um, uh, as time passes, um, you also note, um, on the calendar, oh, I love you too, um, that the, uh, the day that the bandit moot was supposed to occur before it was moved up does pass by as we cross over into the month of man. And um, on that day, it just so happens that Eldan Enderal uh, calls you guys together and says, um, you know, I appreciate you, the assistance of all of you. The Wanderers have been a great boon. 
And I hope, daughter, that you will continue to assist me with all of my speech writing. However, if the rest of you are interested in uh, pursuing the um, the uh, pursuing Donmar, uh, the great bard of and saving her, no, no. the great bard of. Satire. She lies in a great metropolis. She lives in a great metropolis. Over two weeks' journey to the south. She can't come in here. I, uh. Okay. Okay. Off she goes. The goblin. My, my little goblin servant is uh, cranky today. But, um, I, uh, I would warn you that if you wish to go and save all those people before it is no doubt destroyed by the machinations of them, well, uh, you will probably want to get moving at some point. Uh, I leave that up to you. I don't know when an attack might occur, only that she is the next to be captured. And they will no doubt distract from their true purpose by demolishing that entire metropolis. So if you would save, if you would save it, then know that it is called. Johuk, City of Wonders. And the great bard of satire rules all of the conversation in that city. It is a wonderful place. I think we may have visited when you were a baby, my dear Bella. I don't remember, but um, I believe you. Hmm. You wouldn't, I suppose. Well, I simply wish to release you from... Uh, the need to aid us, if such is your desire. Uh, and to not feel obligated to stay here any longer. For one thing, I do believe that the Duke's ally, Puck LeBlanc, has gained a magical fix upon your location and this city may become too dangerous for you uh, before long one of ariella's spies reports that some of your blood of several of you has somehow been scrounged up from previous battles and sold to Captain LeBlanc. That's gross. Gross and unfortunately very useful to those with ill intent and strong dark magic. Well, I leave it up to you. I have <clears throat> some players to direct in our next set of agitations. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, what would you like to do? Not 
Um, we should probably figure out where exactly Johuk is, so we know where we're heading. I mean, we know it's to the south. We know it's about two weeks away, but you know, is it in say a a gray, mountainy, barren area? Is it in like a desert? So many possibilities. Um, he can answer that, or actually, um, Ariella can as well. Um, it is in a, uh, kind of a foresty, mountainous area. The, the jungle city of wonders. Is it 525, maybe? Uh, oh, maybe, yeah. Uh, let's put that on. There we go. It's got a fancy, it's got a fancy city on it. So for those of you on the stream, the players are currently here. We are very far away. Well, Vapos doesn't have anywhere in particular that he needs to be, so he's happy to uh, get moving if that's what he thinks we need to do, or he's happy to stay here and try to help fight this rebellion. Oh, I definitely think we should try and head to Jahu. Um, that seems like a more pressing concern. And I mean, I feel like... Oh, sorry. No, just like we're kind of just like a, a guerrilla strike force. Like we're, we're not... Most of us are not well equipped for political machinations. Um, we're probably a better use to the, the wild land as a whole, um, going off and doing adventure things. True. There are, of course, many other uh, things you guys could choose to do, but that is what uh, King Enderal suggests. I wonder if, I mean, about that is it seems like there's a, a deadline on it. So that's the only reason why I'm really uh, thinking about it. I'm all right with whatever the group wants to do. Well, then I think that we're heading down south. That's what it sounds like to me. Sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. I never like to stay in one place for too long anyway. That sounds really normal. <laughs> Bella's mildly pissed off ever since she's been charmed. <laughs> oh, you don't know unless you unless you figure it out. You don't know that you have been. Could I? All right. Could I like make an intelligence, <laughs> an intelligence check or something? Uh, you want to make an intelligence check? Yes. To okay. figure out that he charmed me. Oh. Um. I mean, how suspicious are you of the fact that you liked his performance? Very. <laughs> Um, I guess through talking to Bliss about it, he might give something away. Um, so I'll, I'll let, uh, Bliss, you can make a, uh, bluff check uh, as opposed to, uh, Bella's insight. Would that be deception? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, oh. <laughs> I think she wins, but I love that that's how that turned out. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I think we're going to give that one to Bella, but it is <laughs> the same number. <laughs> so yes, Bella, you come to realize that he used a bard trick on your mind. Uh, to make you, to charm you with his performance. I think that I probably, you know, have some professional insight there. Yeah, I think so. But only just barely. Mm-hmm. So I'm actually reading the entry for enthralling performance right now. If you succeed on the th saving throw, the target has no hint that you tried to charm it, but it doesn't say anything about if you fail after it expires. And almost universally for charm effects, when you, or when or when the effect expires, you recognize that you've been charmed. I had asked Max about that beforehand. Okay. Um, and well, I mean, it's 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 ultimately up to you, Max. But I believe we agreed that. Yeah, the text itself is not clear. So. Yeah. Um. Unfortunately, I think we're losing Bella. Um. But uh, is there anything else you guys would like to do? Maver also has to head out. Yeah. Well, I mean, we need to we need to decide where we're going and how we want to get there, and probably shop for supplies. Mm -hmm. uh, All considerations that are um, going to take up some uh, some in game time. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, did we need it? We needed a ship, right? That was part of the part of where we're going. Well, we don't need one. And there is there is a land path, but it would probably save time if we could uh, procure passage um, over at least part of the journey. Okay. Um, do we have any idea how much it costs to uh, procure a ship and so we can get going? Um, you do. Um, it will cost um, some amount of gold per person um, to buy passage on a ship. However, um, hey, Ship's Passage. Look at that. Being a sailor Cla sometimes pays off. Can't be certain of a schedule or route that will meet your every need. Free passage. Background. Assist the crew during the voyage. Okay. Well, I was going to say um, you actually can't buy passage because... Uh, you guys, if you are spotted at the docks, you will be killed <laughs> um, by the Duke's forces. And um, Puck LeBlanc are watching that incredibly carefully. However, Ref's background ability gets around that entirely. Um... So, Bref, you can call in a favor. Actually, um, you happen... Go ahead and roll a d6 for me. Or d3, actually. Got it. Okay. So, if you guys don't want to do the land route... Um, Bref does discover, uh, does have a friend in port, a fellow, uh, a fellow, uh, 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 man of the seas, um, who can, uh, who is willing to take you guys on the ship in return for helping you out. Um, 
man, the kid's having a meltdown over here. Um, the um, the ship, um, however, is not going south immediately. Um, the um, uh, the Hungry Sir Gideon is the name of the ship. Uh, is actually heading north first to um, Wuturim, um, some days up the coast, and then turning around and going south and um, looping around. Uh, the dangerous areas in the Thunder Gulf uh, to end up at the great um, um, the great uh, mist the, the great town of uh, harbor town or uh, of misted inlet um, which is a lot closer to your destination. So if you don't want to take the land route, you can take the sea route. Uh, it will just be somewhat roundabout. How long is it looking to take? Uh, well, if all goes according to plan, that would be a three-week journey to get you to that harbor, and then you'd have to, uh, you'd have to go to hoof it um, the rest of the way. Okay. So the sea route probably wouldn't actually be faster, but it would no. likely be safer. Quite I'm possibly. Traveling on the sea is usually safer than traveling on foot in the wildlands. It would be quite a bit slower, um, but it would be quite a bit safer. Um, as Elden warned you, did I actually say that or did I just think it? Um, the region that uh, down south um, is much more dangerous in the wilderness, um, even than even than here, where you have the tall walls of uh, Westhead to keep out the dangers. Um, but, uh, that is, uh, there are two options there. Uh, Akiri needs to be somewhere, uh, sorry, she needs to be in 17, 8, I believe is what it is. 17, 8, by the 19th of Jurg, if possible. And she really, really, really doesn't want to miss it. Did she tell the rest Ooh. of us this? Yeah. How, 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 sorry, how much time is that from now? I just had the calendar up one second. I think that's like a month and a half. I wish I could, I wish the calendar could just like interface with Roll20. That would be so cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, it's like a month and a half. Because, I mean, from here, that's like 15 days if things go smoothly. Um, mm -hmm. It would be much longer from anywhere. I'd... Gosh, I mean, if... <sighs> I don't know if we even want to go down south if that's... We don't want to risk missing that for you. Yeah. I mean, I'm also fine just, you know, going off, I mean, swing back by Arkne, uh, find something else to do in the meantime. I mean, I know we were kind of conflicted about uh, the morals of which group to support or not support in the grand battle. Uh, yeah. So that may not be an entirely bad thing. Just, we could just run off just like bye guys have fun yeah 
That's true, we aren't tied to anyone in particular. We're like kind of tied to our parents, but like that's pretty thin. So well, I mean, we, we accomplished the main thing, which was making sure he wasn't kidnapped anymore. Yeah. So I'm, I kind of zoned out a little bit, but I'm under the way I'm understanding is if we go south like we were planning to, we're going the wrong way to also go to Akiri's thing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So much so that it is very questionable whether we can make it in time. All right. And that's even a would we have we don't have to stay in Jork for a long time. Yeah. Right. Now, do we? Um. I guess I could ask Akiri. Um. Is this thing you want to go to go do? Is it going to take a long, a long time? Would we be able to go do this and then go down south? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I just know that the sword we it's uh, it's at the um. It's actually not a bad plan, bro. Um, it's it this it's where the sword wings are, and they're gonna they're doing a. A big get together with the other air co to find out um uh <laughs> um she uh to see like to talk about the um the uh watch the skies prophecy that's been going around our people sorry i got real distracted well i don't know anything about any of that but it sounds very important um i would be in favor of doing that first. I mean, it's just on, it's Nico, it's on like the opposite, like diagonal side of the map to where we need to go. So it's, it's I mean, Bliss does not care. From his perspective, you, this is super important to one of you. And the other thing just sounded like something that was kind of important in general, but this sounds like something specifically important to one of the group. So from Bliss's perspective, it makes more sense to do the thing that's more important to us than the generally important thing. Now, I don't like our chances going back the exact way we came, because going through that desert again sounds like it would suck. Yeah. So what if we do take the ship passage up to that first city? Well... Walrum? Watorum? Watorum. My font choice on the map was very bad. Um, and then uh, from there, we can kind of circle around that massive lake, come around Arkney from the north, head to your place, Akiri, uh, if we have time, oh. and then yeah. make our way up yeah. to 1708. There you go. Sorry, I could have had this on screen the whole time. I forgot. You, you had you had it up for the audience for a while, so yeah, I, I forgot that it wasn't up for you guys. Yeah, but now you can actually that... ping on it as well. <laughs> yeah, because we're thinking that um that uh, Joe Hook is down, right? So the ship's captain that uh, Bref is friends with is talking about going here. And then coming on down again. Circling around these dangers. Actually kind of going off the map a little bit here. And going Into here. the normal lands. Exactly. The civilized lands. So that's the ship's that's the ship's path. Which would let you skip all of this. Well, I'm thinking we get off here, oh, go, I mean, broadly speaking, up around here, go down and say hi to your folks, and then make your way up here. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, all you have it. That's fine with Fapos. 
We'll probably have to inform Bella about it at some point. Does Vapos have his secret? Uh, I believe the secret you gave me was about the Netheros. Don't say her name! <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, I don't think you gave me a secret about, like, a concrete event or anything. Are you sure? Could have sworn that I did. I don't think so. You know what? I probably... I, I wrote up these big ones for, like, Typha <laughs> and... Uh, and uh, uh, Frasher, like, right before they... dropped out. Um... Yeah, you, you told me the, the main... Name no, I still owe you a though. secret. Okay. I owe you and Bliss a secret. I thought I had given you one, but I guess not. Okay. Okay. Well, then, yeah. yeah. Let me re revise my statement. Vapos is fine with that path, pending any secrets that I might learn from the Game Master. Mm. Excellent. I would just like to say for the record that I owe you a secret is a really cool phrase. <laughs> You're welcome. I, uh, yes, I owe a secret to Vapos and Bliss. My secret can just be that everything is fine and nothing's wrong. No, who would have, who would have guessed? That is a secret. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm prophetic, guys. <laughs> Cool. Sick. Okay, so you guys start preparing for that journey. And that will eat up some time as well. Um, but you can... Uh, you have access to really anything you want um, to buy. Um, the um, You can't really get it for free, um, but... Uh, you have access to just about anything you want to buy uh, in the city through the black market that is the sometimes headquarters of the rebellion. Uh, the new king. So um, we can do that probably. Uh, we can probably do that offline unless there's something specifically like rare. Um, that you guys are uh, going to want to uh, to purchase. I think so. Not for Vapos. The only thing I could think of is food, so no, I'm fine. Okay. Well, I am going to have some um, some tearful goodbyes uh, with Bella. Um and her folks um even her mother gets choked up believe it or not Aww. um I swear I told you this secret, but it, it, I guess I never did. I just did a search for the word secret in our private chat, so yeah. nothing came up. It's been confusing. Uh, I got confused because we're new characters and I've forgotten who has gotten what. Um... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yes. The secret that you know is quite significant. <laughs> but we will get to okay. that. Um. Okay. 
Uh, so it takes you right guys. Change my mind about our route. <laughs> um, probably not actually. Um, so you guys, uh, it takes you three days to get all your stuff together, which we'll uh, just retroactively do later. Um, but you do get finally leave the wildlands behind with all of its troubles but with a new king you mean westhead what did i say you said the, the wildlands wild and it's like are we going to the we... <laughs> no. sail to the gray haven time time to rename the campaign mm -hmm. um and yeah it's gonna be a hex crawler again so what direction are you leaving the city from well if possible i mean we're well, we're taking the boat aren't we i think we're if if the captain agrees we're going to take the boat mm. to here and then leave from there got it and not go to the obelisk because that would suck. Yeah. Okay. We're not saying hi again. So you're going to hitch a ride with the hungry Sir Gideon. Um, and uh, head for Waturim. Um. On your way out of Westhead, uh, you guys stow all of your stuff. You get your, uh, you get a couple of uh, cabins in uh, on board the ship. Um, Bref, you finally feel at home again after a long time of hearing the waves crashing uh, against the 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 docks in uh, in Westhead. You're finally at sea on the deck of a ship. Um, but on your way out, you, as you're passing through the wreck of the, the bones of the wreck of the Vargos, the enormous petrified ship from forgotten ages long ago, you will actually be hailed, uh, the ship will be hailed by a bunch of those, um, half fish folk. Uh, that are living in a shanty town amongst the uh, wreckage of the ship. And um, the captain, Bref's uh, friend, Bref's contact, I guess it would probably be a friend of a friend. Um, to be more realistic, uh, is uh, going to call you guys over and say, um, these, uh, your adventurers, uh, these folk are asking for a toll. They're asking for us to pay a toll uh, in order to guarantee safe passage uh, north. Uh, normally, I would uh, simply toss them a few coppers. But I'm wondering whether you folks um, would like to pitch in or not. And whether you believe in such superstitious things. Oh, absolutely. You always honor those who live in the sea. Um, just because I always forget the rule, the belt that I had, I would have been able to sell it for oh, yeah. 100 gold? No, you, you get the full 200 pieces of oh, gold. Oh, fantastic. And I will, I will hand the captain five gold pieces to distribute to the... Uh, cool. Um... Yes, Bref is leaving with an enemy in Westhead. <laughs> uh, okay, so the the fishmen who uh, who are standing on the sandbar 
um, stare up at you with their wide, unblinking eyes and shiny, scaly bodies. And they uh, gather the coins that are tossed to them, uh, the gold from Breath and a few coppers from, uh, from the captain. And they, as though to go and speak with the sea monsters that they are warning you about, or the pirates that might be pursuing you, they immediately dive into the water and swim away. Uh, the water which is now clear and no longer stained by that purple, um, that purple pollution uh, that was poisoning these people um, until very recently. Mm, I feel like we just got shook down. It's all part of it, though. It's the way of the sea. What you pay now will come back to you. Okay. Well, as the ship heads uh, north on a couple of days sailing, um, I am going to ask that uh, Breff, since you paid uh, the, the fish folk, uh, could you roll a d100, please, and add uh, five? Fifty-three. Okay. Uh, your trip is without great incident, and you guys make it to Wuturim, the city guarded by a green dragon. And there in the forest of Armadan, uh, you are you put off at a Rotorum with all of your uh, luggage two days later, just as promised. And um, just as you uh, as you get off the ship and um, the uh, begin exploring the town, a flash of light to the northeast uh, indicates something happening over the trees. Um, and you are aware of a cloud of dust as an army is marching south uh, in a southerly direction off to the east of the town. Um, a greenish shape swoops down overhead and with a tremendous roar a dragon lands uh, on the edge of town near Wurturum and it looks you guys over and the great greenish eyes in the cruel looking draconic face rake over you and some of you feel a strange burning sensation upon the brand and the dragon speaks to you and it says servants of chowder the clever you are you are in the wrong territory. This town is under my protection. Explain yourselves! And it breathes a gout of green poison, which is your first introduction to the town of Votorium. At that point, guys, we are going to call it for today. <laughs> Where's Drake? Where do we, meet him? we will <laughs> deal with this next time. Thank you all very, very much for playing. That was 
uh, a fun kind of uh, interlude session um, between all of the uh, enormously exciting uh, and crazy plot points and insanity. Uh, it's always good to have a kind of chance to catch your breath and uh, prepare for further adventures later on. So uh, I hope that you guys will um, uh, discuss your choice of path in the Discord um, so that all the players uh, can get up to speed. Um, but uh, I applaud your, um, your initiative um, and, uh, and good planning. That will serve you in good stead, I guarantee it. Um, you will also have the chance to purchase stuff. So just uh, go ahead and announce that in the Discord because I don't see any reason to take up game time with that if it's not something rare. Uh, thank you to Empress of Lions uh, for hanging out in the chat. Thank you to Sivius who came by. Haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to the man with no screen name for always being around. Thank you, my friend. Thank you to Taladar, who was here earlier and subscribed. Uh, much appreciated. The emotes, uh, the emote is now active again, guys. So you can express your shock, amazement, and surprise with the unique super commoner emote now available to you. Um, that's it. Uh, thank you to Jeremy, player of breath. Thank you to M, player of Akiri. Thank you to Nico, player of Bliss. And thank you to Corey, player of Vapos. I will do my darndest, guys, to get you your, um, your, uh, your seal of power uh, abilities to you next time. Uh, and I don't mind if we retroactively, you know, train them instead. That'll be fine. Um... Thank you to, a big, big thank you to uh, Danielle, player of Mavra, who was here earlier but had to uh, hop out. And a truly tremendous heartfelt thank you to my wife, Kirsten, uh, who managed to play and take care of the little goblin in our house uh, for like fully an hour and a half of game, which is amazing. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Until next time, well played. That was very fun as always. Thank you, yeah, Max. That was awesome. Thank you, Thank you. Good night, everybody. That was awesome. Thank you, Max. Bye bye. Good night, guys.